In this video, we're going to introduce Logisim, a simple digital design tool that allows us to simulate and build circuit schematics for digital logic. To get started, we're going to build a simple two input AND gate just to test Logisim and get used to designing our schematics and building out different logic diagrams, looking at our inputs and outputs as we design more complex logic circuits. Logisim is a Java-based program. It is available then for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm using the Windows version to get started. When you download Logisim, you can go to the Logisim website and click download. The Windows binary is on SourceForge. Let's start with a new board here. Down here at the bottom, you have the option of resizing your grid. Mine was zoomed in for the previous example. We'll start with a standard layout here. This tool right up here will change the values so it pokes different inputs. This will allow us to actually drag and drop wires and put items down in the grid. We can add text if we'd like. And here's our pin inputs and outputs respectively. Lastly, our common gates here. So we have uh, a NOT gate or an inverter. We have an AND gate, and then we have an OR gate. So we can use those pretty regularly. We also have a design tree here, so we can look at all of the different objects that we can place within our grid layout. We're going to start with a basic AND gate. So open up gates here, or click the icon up top. And once you click it, you have a couple of options here. We're gonna place our AND gate and if you notice, there's actually five inputs and one output. We can change now the direction of the AND gate, what each data bit is on the inputs and outputs, the gate size. So if we make it smaller, larger, I'm going to stick to medium for now, and the number of inputs. We're going to change this to two to stick to our two input, one output. And we can set the values of our outputs to floating ones and zeros. We can add a label. So let's call this to input and we can change the font. And we can also then go high or low with uh, each of our inputs. Once we've laid out our two input and gate, let's add a pin and we'll use an input pin here. I'm going to line this up as close as I can. And then I'm just going to click and drag. I'm holding my mouse and lock it to the input on here. I'm going to add one more just by clicking, moving over. And let's just say I moved it over here. Logisim will automatically try to find that input pin. But the problem with this is that it will move over other input pins and lock into those as well and you can't drag a wire to change it exactly. So if you find yourself in this predicament, just click a wire, delete it, delete your wire. And what you can do is actually drag to somewhere on the grid, drag to somewhere on the grid, and then drag to somewhere on the grid. And then Logisim will actually fix itself when you move it around. Our inputs are low at zero, and they're going into each input here. And now I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. And we're going to add an output pin. I'm going to click and drag. And now that's connected. We can see that this is 0, 0, 0. As an AND gate, let's use our poke tool just to test our uh, circuit. And if this is 1, this should still be 0. If this is 1, now this should be 1. And if this is back to zero, that should be zero. So our AND gate works appropriately. And we can see our output here. We have other options. If we click our pins, we can actually adjust the behavior so we can turn it into a pull up and pull down situation, which should reverse our logic. And we can change the data bit size. And we can also change the direction of where that input is. And is it an output or an input pin? Again, we can label that as well. So when we look at our AND gate, generally we 
choose the first input as A, and then we choose the second as B, and let's choose that output as X. So now we have labels on all of our objects, and we have a working and uh, circuit. The last thing we're gonna do is go down to project, and we're gonna hit analyze circuit. Here we can see our expression and our output as X. If we look at our truth table, we see that it's calculated when one A and B are one, X is now one, so that's cool. And we have our outputs and inputs here. And we can also do a sum of products table and uh, adjust these and it will rebuild the circuit if we change any of these items. Features that are important to us in Logisim is of course we can save this and I'm going to save this to my desktop and it saves it as a CIRC or circuit file and that way I can come back and edit it. I can also export an image which is nice and It'll scale and make sure that it changes my view. I can also select sub-circuits. We only have one circuit, so. Uh, we'll... And now that we've exported our images, the windows pull up a preview, and there you go. So now you have a basic layout of the digital schematic. And there's our circuit file as well. Those are all the basic functionalities of getting started within Logisim. I encourage you to play with some of the other gates and look at some of the other inputs and outputs if you would like.